Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent and this is Unité 17, leçon K. And in this lesson we'll see together the verb s'entendre followed by a verb à l'infinitif. S'entendre plus verb à l'infinitif. Oh my god, I was so fast. So I want to start. <laughs> Let's start with this structure. Il s'entend appelé par son prénom. Okay, so let's take the time to have a look at this, this first part here, s'entend, and then of course it's s'entendre, so this is the infinitive form. So s'entendre, if you would like to translate it directly, it's to hear oneself, okay, or to listen to oneself, but then to hear oneself, and then actually it doesn't really make any sense if you start to, uh, well, directly translate this sentence with this concept, hear oneself, it's quite strange. And the reason why is that you will use s'entendre as a way to express the passive form, une façon d'exprimer le passif. Okay, and in that case, well, you understand that if it is the passive form, then it means that the subject doesn't, doesn't do the action. So, in that case, il won't call. I mean, he's not calling. Okay, but then if you want to get the meaning of the sentence, you could use this quelqu'un, somebody, someone is calling him by his first name, okay? Quelqu'un l'appelle par son prénom, okay? And this is the structure that you could use, so you could use s'entendre here, okay? And then after that you put the verb at the infinitive form. Il s'entend appelé par son prénom, okay? So let's see now how you will conjugate that at the present form. Je m'entends appeler, tu t'entends appeler, elle s'entend appeler, nous nous entendons appeler, vous vous entendez appeler, ils s'entendent appeler. Ok, and remember, it's a way to express the passive form. Ok, so it's actually quite simple, you only need to remember the conjugation of entendre at the present form, entend, 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 entendons, entendez, entendre. And then, as it's uh, a verb pronominal, okay, you will have to add this m for je, je m'entends, t for tu, tu t'entends, s, elle s'entend, nous nous entendons, vous vous entendez, and then il, elle s'entend, okay? And then it's followed by the verb at the infinitive. So it's actually quite simple to make, okay? Keep in mind that, as usual in French, we've got some tricky forms and we're talking in that case about le passé composé. So we'll start with the masculine, okay? So je me suis entendu appeler, tu t'es entendu appeler, il s'est entendu appeler, nous nous sommes entendu appeler, vous vous êtes entendu appeler, ils se sont entendu appeler. And the main thing that you've got to keep in mind is that you won't put this S at the end of your participe passé if you need to, okay? Because normally when we get this type of structures, normally we've got être and then the participe passé, we put être s when we get the plural form in these cases or in these cases when you use s'entendre and then a verb and the infinitive you don't put this s at the end of your participe passé if you've got a feminine form then je me suis entendu appeler tu t'es entendu appeler elle s'est entendu appeler nous nous sommes entendu appeler vous vous êtes entendu appeler elles se sont entendu appeler. And it will be exactly the same situation, so keep in mind that as it's the feminine, we'll have also this E at the end of our participe passé, but then we don't put that. So that's the rule. Don't put the feminine, okay, at the end of your participe passé here, and don't put the plural either here, okay? So these are the only tricky things that you should keep in mind. And that's it. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir et à bientôt. Have a great day.